Great job, Courtney. Thank you. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, everybody in chat. Um, just want to explain, had a little fun with the boys this weekend, so no worries on this little boo boo here. Uh, we'll not not worry about that. So they everything's good. But wanted to get into standing up to the LNG and two five three here. So last week I gave you guys a lot of doom and gloom and a, a lot of stuff that wasn't so happy and. So John pointed that out. Now, this week, I wanted to give a little positive note. So what people are doing in the community, right? Of course, we stand with Puyallup. Uh, this right here is one of their protests that they had. One of the dudes was standing on a 10-foot tall tripod uh, to let PSE know that they're not going to stop until this project is dead. And be able to see that commitment from these people is just absolutely astonishing. That They're, they're, they're going to go until it's done. And that right there is something to be proud of. So there's more protesters here locking arms, standing together against this future disaster. Uh, like to go back to this one right here. It's uh, we feel like we're going back to the 1800s. Like it's no joke. We're literally it's it's like the days of Custer and it's the wounded knee. I mean, it's it's not anything to be joking about. This is absolutely horrendous. You know these. Water protectors are, are are holding this up for the betterment of all of us in the Puget Sound area. So kudos to them for what they're doing. I have nothing but support to give for them. And right here you can see why this LNG is being put into place and what the projections are of the profits and the demand that are going that they're looking at. This right here is why they want this project right all they see is dollar signs all they see is profit and they could give a damn whether or not they take your water and poison it so be mindful of that um these people are not on your side this is all that they care about are numbers so there's other other people that are are doing some great things this olympia uh, the colombian excuse me article uh in our view um, I wanted to read a small excerpt from it. Um, it just really struck me as a defining moment. So therefore we are left with these, the oil terminal is dead. Long live the oil terminal. While that ancient proclamation traditionally has been used to mark the passage of one King and the Herald to the, the ascension of a successor, we shall use it for another purpose to note the passage of the proposal and to celebrate its legacy upon this community. The saga has provided a defining moment for Clark County. And that was in response to what they did to stop the oil terminal. And I believe, Rhonda, you had a little bit of involvement in that. So I, were you part of that? Did it, did anything happen? Yeah, I was a, a part of it, not, not as big as others in Clark County, like uh, Alona and Don Steinke. They really championed it. But yeah, I, I did show up to quite a few of those. Um, uh, hearings and, and rallies. And uh, I, I love uh, what Clark County has done. They've really come together in building a coalition um, that has stopped so many things. It, it, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So if it can happen there, it can happen in Tacoma. So, you know, just remember there's hope, you know, talk to your friends and family, get involved, especially if you live in the South Puget Sound right now, it's, it's a hot spot for things going on. Uh, this project will affect everyone in the Puget Sound area at some point. And we need to come together as a community to tell these people or these corporations, excuse me, and our legislators that our land is not for sale for more fossil fuels and our lives are not privy to profit. Profit. We are human beings. We deserve the sanctity of life. We deserve to be able to raise our children in peace. So please stop this project and let us live our lives in peace. So thank you for this. If there's any questions, uh, I will be able to take them. And if not, we can any move on to- Any questions in the audience, Courtney? Candidates. Well, n no direct questions, but uh, I do feel like I need to clarify when I said we got I-940 into the, to where, until the legislature took over. By we, I meant Washington, but it was pointed out by Kathy that really the Pulip tribe made that happen. So I do want to acknowledge that comment from the 
um, from the gallery. And back to you, Brian. Awesome. Thank you. So, all right, we're going to go on to progressive updates in a flash if nobody has any other things to bring up on that one. So, again, thank you, everybody in chat for being engaged. Like, I, I, I love being in chat with you guys. So, if you guys have any questions for me, remember, I have a Facebook page and Twitter, so reach out. Feel free. I like talking with you guys. Um, but let's get on to some candidates. Uh, Saturday, 10 a.m., Dorothy Gasquet. She has her Rebel Headquarters soft launch at 10 a.m. Vancouver. That is going to be awesome. She's so excited. Uh, she put out a live video earlier this week, too, and gave a quick walkthrough of everything they've got going on. So go and check that out. Um, all of her events are going to be in the description below. I linked up to her event page. So all you got to do is go to that page, and you'll be able to find all the events you could ever ask for, anything you want to do. Uh, then we've got Sarah Smith. Uh, Sarah Smith has two events coming up. Uh, one is a meet and greet in Seattle at 3 p.m. on the 11th, and the other is a whole fun-filled weekend of action, including phone banking, which can be done from home, by the way. And I actually did that for whole Washington a few weeks back, and it's actually quite neat to be able to reach out to people, and it's very encouraging when they come back with some of the things of, of how how great it is to talk to people who are really doing this kind of stuff. So if you're scared about doing it, uh, I want to encourage you guys to go to some of these events uh, that we have planned for like volunteers and such, uh, which I'll have more on that coming up. So again, these are all people in our coalition that are doing this and we have all of these people or these coalitions listed down below. Uh, go ahead and feel free and send them a, a volunteer, get involved, do anything you can to, stay informed right um more uh, we've got upcoming events right so i wanted to give a little video it's a short clip this is uh something that i made in correlation with laura fielding uh, with red berets and she's doing amazing things and she came to me with an idea to do a short like video slide to kind of promote uh what they're doing and so if uh, john has a second to cue that up We'll be able to watch that. It should be pretty short. Um, it's I think it's only like a minute, 30 seconds. And using some of the software that I'm <clears throat> getting to know. So if there's anybody out there that knows how to do this stuff, uh, I think that John and I are going to be doing a little more collaborating on future projects. And that would be pretty neat to, to get going. So if, if that's ready, we'll be able to take a peek at that. And this is this is just the start of learning how to do this stuff. So there we go. We have that. I thought it was pretty neat. Uh, it didn't take too long to make that one. Uh, there was a second one that's on the Progressive Washington Media page. If you guys are curious, you can go on ahead and check that out. It's a little longer. Uh, it's a little mellower, uh, according to some. So, But uh, after that, it sure does make me want to do some knitting, right? Or at least learn how. Uh, so in light of that, right, we're calling all fiber artists. Uh, we need more Red Berets. The Red Berets are always looking for more artists to be able to help them out. Uh, the link below in the description will take you to the Red Berets website, and you should be able to get all set up on that front. Uh, Laura Fielding's a wonderful person. She's doing great things. 
Uh, she's reaching out all across the nation to get these things done. So anything you can do to help would be absolutely fantastic. And with that, going to some volunteer events for I-1600. I put it, that link down below for all of the events on, on the page, and you'll be able to find all of your different kinds of events that you'd like to get involved in. But I'd like to highlight this one for uh, the Zoom volunteer event. I attended one of these and I actually learned a lot because I went out that following weekend and what I learned in that session actually translated into signatures onto my petition. So I highly encourage you guys to check this out. Very, very good people that run it. It's very laid back and easy to get along and understand what's going on and how to do this stuff. I mean, a lot of it is your own mind kind of getting in the way. So getting over that hump is, it's, it's pretty easy. So that uh, the link for the, the Washington event for their whole page, again, it's down below. Um, there's a March for Our Lives uh, coming up on March 24th. Uh, it's a nationwide march in Florida, uh, or not in Florida, nationwide in solidarity with the students in Florida. And I, I think that Courtney, did, did you want to say anything on this at all? Um, oh. Yes, regarding March for Our Lives, uh, it's, a, it's a very important subject. However, in Washington, it unfortunately coincides with the Washington State uh, Democrat Party caucus, where people oh, right. will be electing uh, delegates to the state convention where rules will be made. Gotcha. So, so while I enjoy a good heartfelt uh, march, uh, missing missing an opportunity to vote just seems yeah to me it's nearly criminal <laughs> right oh hopefully it wasn't strategically placed that way but uh, you know we'll do what we can yeah I, I don't think there was any ill will that was it was planned on the east coast it wasn't in regards to us right so just be mindful everybody that you know pick your priorities <laughs> that's right so and then uh, I wanted to highlight this great event coming up on April Fools, No More Fools Day fundraiser event will be on this channel with all of us from Progressive California, Oregon, and Washington. And we're going to be able to have some great candidates, some great music, some great fun, some great conversation. Would love to have you guys in the chat, hang out with you. I think it's going to last about four hours or so. Should start around like 4 p.m. Uh, it's going to be amazing. So I encourage you all to check it out and thank you. Uh, that's all I got for today.